Welcome to Metlato. Today we are going to discuss internodal and interatrial pathways. So basically in the cardiac cycle you will see three most important system excitatory system, conductive system and the contractile system. So if you see here in the cardiac cycle you will see three most important system cardiac cycle you will see three most important system. First one is the excitatory system. Okay. After that, the second system is the conductive system. Conductive system. And last one is the contractile system. Third one is the contractile system. Okay. So, actually signal generate in the SA node. After its generation, it will travel to the atria and the ventricle of the heart. And after that you will see the atria and the ventricle will start contracting. So here are basically the three systems that actually present in the cardiac cycle. So in this lecture we will discuss the conductive system. So if you see here we are going to discuss conductive system of the heart. Okay. So if you see here. Here are basically the four chambers of the heart. Here is the left atrium. Here is the right atrium. Here is the right atrium. This side is the right ventricle. And here is the left ventricle. Okay. These are basically the four chambers of the heart. And in the heart you will see the two most important node. SA node and the AV node. So... Here is the basically the SA node, sinoatrial node and here is the second node is the AV node, atrioventricular node. Okay, so actually signal generate in the SA node and after its generation the signal or the impulse travel to the AV node or the left atrium through the tracks, different tracks. So, if you see here from the SA node, the signal travel to the AV node and at the same time it will also travel to the left atrium through the different tracks. This is the first thing. So first thing in the conductive system is the SA node from which you will see the generation of the signal or impulse. After that you will see the two tracks. The tracks that exist between the two nodes that's why it is actually called the internodal internodal track the track that exists between the node is called internodal track and the track that exists between the left atrium and the right atrium is called interatrial track so here are basically the two important tracks interatrial track okay and after that you will see the signal has been reached to the AV node. Okay, that is the AV node. Okay, after that from the AV node the signal travel between the two ventricles that is actually presence of the septum through the bundle of his or you can say atrioventricular bundle. So if you see here from the AV node signal travel downward through the bundle of his. Here is basically the bundle of his or you can say atrioventricular bundle. Okay. And it will divide into the left branch and the right branch and ultimately it goes downward and forms the Purkinje fibers. Okay. That's very much important. It will move downward and form the Purkinje fiber. This is the last component of the conductive system. Purkinje fibers okay here are basically the different systems of the conduction that how signal travel from the SA node to the ventricle here is the last part of the heart so signal travel in different situation from the SA node to the ventricles of the hearts okay in this lecture we will focus on the internodal and the interatrial tract as a note, we have discussed in the previous lecture, we will just focus on the internodal and the interactive tract. So, 
if you see here, here is the basically the four chambers of the heart. Here is the right atrium. Here is the right ventricle. Similarly, here is the left atrium. Here is the left ventricle. Okay. If you see here, acinone and actually acinodes also consist of cells or fibers. So actually signal generate in the acinode. It will travel to the AV node and the left atrium through different fiber. So first if you see here reddish area this track or this pathway of from the AC node to the AV node is actually called the anterior anterior internodal track or you can say pathway. This is actually called anterior. Okay. And if you see, the second is the this one, blackish area. This is actually called the middle. Middle internodal tract. Okay, that's very much important. And after that, you will see, here is the posterior inter nodal track or you can say pathway so here are basically the three major pathways anterior middle and the posterior okay and after that you see the arise of the branch from the anterior inter nodal track this branch is actually called the back man's bundle here is actually this branch is actually called the back man's bundle that actually supply the impulses to the left atrium okay that's actually provide signal or the impulses to the left atrium okay that's very much important so actually keep remember that these tracks also consist of the cells okay and the atria also consist of its own cells or you can say fiber that's very much important here left atrium also consists of different cells or fibers okay that's very much important so actually signal travel in these tracks will be faster as compared to signal travel in the cells of the atria that's very much important so actually signal travel in these tracks will be if i write it here one meter per second but the signal travel in the cells of the atria will be 0 0.3 meter per second that's the basic difference so actually signal travel in these fibers will be faster as compared to the signal travel in the cells of the atria because we know that the cells of the atria are interconnected so actually if i write it here so actually different cells connected among each other so actually signal easily travel from one cell to the other in the form of ions so that actually in the heart muscles you will see the uh, between the cells of the heart you will see the intercalated disc that provides the pathway to the travel of the signal from one cell to the other so that is very much important so from the SNO signal signal travelled through different tracks and at the same time signal also travel to the fibers of the cells of the atria but the signal travel through the fiber will be faster as compared to the signal travel in the cells of the atria okay now after that you will see the signal travel or reach the av node okay from the av node you will see the arise of the bundle of his so bundle of his actually pass through the here is basically the septum or you can say fibrous tissue that exists between the atria and the ventricle. This is actually called the atrioventricular fibrous tissues from which you will see first of all bundle of his enter in this tissue that is called penetrating atrioventricular fibrous tissue and after that you will see the arise existing atrioventricular fibrous tissue and after that you will see bundle of his or you can say atrioventricular bundle will divide into the left branch and the right branch okay 
and ultimately it goes downward and form the Purkinje fiber. So here is basically the uh, basic structures of the conduction in the heart. If we see that how much time is required from the travel of the S N or to the Purkinje fiber. So if you see here. The time that required from the S N node to the A V node will be 0 point, 0 0.03 second required to travel the impulse from the S N node to the A V node. After that, you will see in the A V node, you will see the time required will be 0 0.09 second that will require in the A V node. After that, in the atrioventricular fibrous tissue, at actually it creates the resistance and hindrance in the travel of the impulse. So, there is a delay of 0 0.04 second in the atrioventricular fibrous tissue. Okay. Now, if you see from the S node to the AV node, if we all combine. So, if you see here, the time required 0, first one is the 0 0.03 second that actually required from the S node to the AV node. This is the first time. Second time is the 0 0.09 second that actually delay in the atrioventricular node. Okay. And after that, you will see the delay of 0 0.04 second in the atrioventricular fibrous tissue. So ultimately, if we uh, add all these times, so time will be 9 and 3, 12. 12 or and 4 that will be 0 0.16 second okay that's the final time so time actually required from the SA node to the bundle of his will be 0 0.16 time so that's actually uh, helpful for the actually as we know that the atria will contract properly before the ventricular start this time actually very helpful in the proper contraction or the proper flowing of the blood from the atria into the ventricle and after that there is a delay that actually provides the proper flowing of the blood into the ventricle. After that the ventricle starts contracting and the, from the ventricle the from the right side it will goes to the pulmonary side and from the left side it will goes to the iota. So that's the very much important thing. But the question is why atrioventricular node, atrioventricular fibrous tissues provides hindrance? Because as we know that the interclated disc, so it actually provides, creates or creates hindrance in the supply of the signal from the one side to the other side. And ultimately the signal travel from the left side and right branch bundle of his and Purkinje fiber. So faster signal traveling will be in the Purkinje fiber. So this is all about the internodal and interatrial pathways. If you still have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.